Good morning, Bas. What are you doing? Good morning, Meenu. I am counting the flowers. I am counting how many flowers are pink, how many are red, and how many are yellow. You are getting smart, Bas. We are going to the market. Do you want to come with us? Market? That will be lots of fun. I will come with you. I will count the flowers later. The market looks so colorful today. <laughs> What happened to you, Bas? Why are you looking so colorful, Bas? I just went into that tub by mistake. It has colored water. I am feeling so cold. Oh, oh, wait! I have a handkerchief. I will wipe you. Are you feeling better now, Bas? Why did you go there? That water is kept for dyeing cloth. You were lucky that the water was not hot. Dyeing? What is dyeing? Dyeing helps to put color on clothes. Look at those two men. They are dipping that cloth in that tub. It has blue color and look, the cloth has turned blue. <laughs> so you are also dyed, Buzz. Come, let us go to that auntie shop. She has such colorful sarees. We will ask her if she dyed them. Hello, auntie. These sarees look so colorful. Did you dye the sarees? Hello, children. No, no, I did not dye them. These sarees have come from Kanchipuram. Kanchipuram where is that Buzz take out your map of India I will show it to you It is in the state of Tamil Nadu Okay first let's look for the state of Tamil Nadu It is here It is in the southern part of India Auntie where is Kanchipuram Kanchipuram is close to Chennai It is just 1 hour away from Chennai. Buzz, look. This is Chennai. It is the capital of Tamil Nadu. Kanchipuram is close to Chennai. Oh, so Chennai is the capital city of Tamil Nadu. It is near the sea. I will read what is written here. Hmm, Bay of Bengal. Yes, Buzz. This sea is called the Bay of Bengal. There are some beautiful beaches in Chennai. My friend Lakshmi showed us some pretty pictures of the beaches. So auntie, these pretty sarees are also from Tamil Nadu? Yes, Jeenu. These are silk sarees. These are specially made in the town of Kanchipuram. Most of the people in the town are weavers. They buy silk thread in bundles. Then they dye them into different bright colors. The silk threads are put in boiling water for dyeing. Do they dry these threads after dyeing, Auntie? Yes, Meenu. They first dry these threads and make them into bundles again. These bundles are put into looms and then the cloth is woven. The designs in these sarees are beautiful, Auntie. Yes. The weavers make beautiful designs. The whole family helps in weaving. Even children help their parents after they come back from school. Just like we help our papa in the field on some days after we come back from school. Auntie, what is this sari? It does not feel like silk. It looks like cotton. Yes, Meenu. This is a cotton sari. It is also woven by the weavers. But instead of silk threads, cotton threads are used to weave the cloth. Auntie, this sari looks different. It does not look like the Kanchipuram sarees. Yes, Chinu. This sari is different because it is from Pochampalli. 
It is called the Pochampalli Sari. Pochampalli? Where is Pochampalli? It is a place in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Baz, I will show you Andhra Pradesh on the map of India. Look, this is Andhra Pradesh. It is also in the southern part of India. It is near Tamil Nadu. This is Hyderabad. It is the capital of Andhra Pradesh. Poochampalli is a place in Andhra Pradesh, Baz. Hmm. So Hyderabad is the capital city of Andhra Pradesh and Poochampalli is a place in Andhra Pradesh. Yes, Baz. Saris that come from Poochampalli look different. They are also woven the same way. Here most of the people in the town are weavers. Auntie, it must be fun to go to these places. Everyone in the town and village must be weaving all the time. That's right, Meenu. These are special saris that belong to a particular place. Look at this sari. This has come from Banaras. It is a Banaras silk sari. I know that Banaras is in Uttar Pradesh. It is famous for its silk saris. Meenu, can you show me Uttar Pradesh on the map? Yes, Buzz. This is Uttar Pradesh. It is in the northern part of India. Look here. This is Lucknow, the capital city of Uttar Pradesh. Banaras is a place in this state. It is famous for silk saris and they are known as Banaras silk saris. Banaras silk saris. It looks beautiful. So, Banaras is a place in Uttar Pradesh and Lucknow is the capital of Uttar Pradesh. That's right. Children, all these are special places which are world famous for their saris. Everyone knows of these places for the special saris they make. Meenu, look at this sari. It is just like the one that Ma has. She said that it is a Bengal cotton sari. Auntie, is this also a Bengal cotton sari? Is it made in West Bengal? Yes, children. This sari is from West Bengal. It is called the Bengal cotton sari. Bas, I will show you the state of West Bengal on the map of India. See, this is West Bengal. It is in the eastern part of India. Look at this place. Can you read the name? Yes, Meenu. It is Kolkata. I know. It is the capital of West Bengal. That's right. Kolkata is the capital of West Bengal. These cotton saris are woven in the state of West Bengal. Even the state of Orissa has a special saris. Look, these are from Orissa. They are very pretty, auntie. They look lovely. Baz, I will show you Orissa on the map of India. Look, this is Orissa. Can you read the name of this city? It is the capital city of Orissa. Yes, Meenu. It is Bhubaneswar. Oh, so Bhubaneswar is the capital of Orissa. Bhubaneswar is the capital of Orissa. So, saris from West Bengal and Orissa are also very pretty. But they are different from Kanjipuram, Pochampalli or Banaras saris. Yes, Meenu. All these are pretty and different. They are very special to that particular place. I know. Grandma has a shawl with beautiful embroidery. She says it is from Kashmir. Yes, Kashmiri embroidery is very beautiful. I really like it. I will look for Kashmir on the map of India now. This is the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Oh, so it is so much in the north of India. Meenu, is this the capital city, Srinagar? Yes, Buzz. 
Srinagar is the capital of Jammu and Kashmir. It is a very beautiful state. Srinagar has lots of pretty lakes and gardens. People of this state make very beautiful embroidery in sarees, shawls and other clothes. This saree is also silk aunty but it is different from the Kanchipuram and Banaras silk sarees. Where is this from? You are right Paz. This is different. This is from the state of Assam. It is called Assam silk saree. State of Assam, Chinu, where is Assam? Look here Baz. This is Assam. It is in the northeastern side of India. Now read the name of its capital city. I can read well. It is written as Dispur. So, Dispur is the capital of Assam. Yes, Dispur is the capital of Assam. These pretty silk sarees are made in the state of Assam. Now look at this children. It is called the Bandhani work. It is made in the state of Gujarat. Oh, it is like tie and dye. We did tie and dye once in class, auntie. We took our handkerchief. Then we put chickpea seeds in the cloth and tied it with a thread. We tied many chickpea seeds like that. Then we dipped the handkerchief in coloured water. Coloured water? Like dyeing? Yes, that's what we do. We tie the chickpea seeds and dye. That is why it's called tie and dye. Then we took out the handkerchief and dried it. After it dried, we opened the thread. It looked so pretty. The places that were tied did not take in any colour. The rest of the cloth looked so bright and colourful. Hmm, so they do bandhani work in Gujarat. Let me look at the state of Gujarat on the map. This is Gujarat. Meenu, it has such a different shape. Yes, Buzz. It looks so cute. Look here. This is Gandhinagar, the capital city of Gujarat. Gandhinagar? I know Mahatma Gandhi was born in Purbandar in Gujarat. So, Gandhinagar is the capital of Gujarat? That's right, Baz. So, different places are famous for different types of clothes. It is not only clothes, children. Lots of different types of handicraft are made in different places. Just look at that shop on the opposite side. It has some beautiful paintings. Can you see that big one? It is called a Madhubani painting. It looks so pretty. It must have taken a long time for the artist to paint that. Yes, it is so beautiful. Grandma said that Madhubani is a place in Bihar. Yes, Jinu, your grandma is right. Madhubani is a place in Bihar. Everyone in that town makes lovely paintings. I want to see the state of Bihar on this map now. Oh, it is here. This must be the capital city, Patna. Yes, Buzz. Patna is the capital city of the state of Bihar. This place, Madhubani, is famous all over the world for its special paintings. People call it the Madhubani paintings. Auntie, what is this doll that you have? It looks thin, but it is so strong. Do you play with it? <laughs> Buzz, I don't play with this doll. I have just kept it here. It looks beautiful. It is made in a place called Bastar in Chhattisgarh. This place is famous for these kind of dolls. Bastar in Chhattisgarh? First, let me look for Chhattisgarh in the map. Here it is, Chhattisgarh state. Buzz, look at this city, Raipur. It is the capital 
of Chhattisgarh. Look, bus. Chhattisgarh is here, and Jaipur is its capital city. That's right, children. Look at these pretty sarees. All these sarees are woven by the weavers with lot of care and affection. The whole family helps in making these sarees. In the same way, handicrafts are also made with lot of care. Again, the whole village or town just makes the paintings or a statue or any type of handicraft. Auntie, what do they do after they make these things? How do they sell them? They sell these things to the wholesalers in big markets. Many a time they are not paid well for what they sell. The wholesalers and other shopkeepers like me charge lot of money for these things. Oh, but the actual person who makes these things does not get enough money. That is really sad, auntie. They work so hard to make such pretty things. and they don't get enough money yes children many a time they don't get enough money so many craftsmen are stopping what they are doing and moving to big cities to get some other job oh no auntie that's sad this way then who will make these pretty things that's right it's really sad these are precious crafts they are made with special tools I need special skills. These are traditional arts and they are learnt at home. Everyone in the family helps to make these things. I know auntie. Not everyone makes these things. It is very special to a particular place. Yesterday my friend Basava brought a wooden toy to school. He said it is made in Karnataka. Yes. I have seen those wooden toys. They look pretty. They are made in Karnataka. Baz, look. This is Karnataka. It is a state in southern India. This is Bengaluru. Its capital city. Can I say it? Bengaluru, the capital city of Karnataka. Friends, Did you see how many special things are made in different places of our country? Don't they look so beautiful? These places are world famous for their special things. Is there something special made in the place where you live? Will you tell me about it? Do you want to tell me now or you can discuss it with your friends? in class friends buzz needs help to match the states with their capitals will you help him but you have to answer loudly tamil nadu Chennai Andhra Pradesh Hyderabad Uttar Pradesh Lucknow West Bengal Kerala 
कोलकाता बिहार पटना असम दिसपुर तमिलनाडु चेन्नई आंध्र प्रदेश हैदराबाद उत्तर प्रदेश लखनऊ वेस्ट बंगाल कोलकाता बिहार पटना असम दिस पर ओ ना बटरफ्लाई हैज अ प्रॉब्लम मैचिंग द कैपिटल्स विद द स्टेट्स विल यू प्लीज हेल्प हर आल्सो बेंगलुरु कर्नाटक श्रीनगर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश गांधीनगर गुजरात भुवनेश्वर उड़ीसा बेंगलुरु कर्नाटक श्रीनगर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश गांधीनगर गुजरात भुवनेश्वर उड़ीसा 
Shall we help the little bird fill in the blanks now? Silk sarees are made in Banaras. Banaras Silk sarees are made in Banaras Kanchipuram is a place in Kanchipuram is a place in Tamil Nadu. Sarees are made in Andhra Pradesh. Pochampalli sarees are made in Andhra Pradesh. Shawls are embroidered in Shawls are embroidered in Kashmir. Bandhini work is done in Bandhini work is done in Gujarat. You can buy Madhubani painting in You can buy Madhubani painting in Bihar. Basar is a place in where handicrafts are made. Basar is a place in Chhattisgarh where handicrafts are made. Colourful wooden toys are made in Colourful wooden toys are made in Karnataka. <laughs> Will you match these now, friends? Pochampalli
massages. Kashmir. Shawls. Madhubani. Paintings. Bastard. Iron Dolls. Karnataka. Wooden toys. Let us answer these questions now. You can also write them in your notebook. Where are most of the traditional arts learned? Most of the traditional arts are learnt at home. Who teaches the art at home? The elders in the family teach the techniques of the art and the skill is passed on from one generation to the other. Who participates in making traditional handicrafts? The entire family participates to make a particular thing. Everybody in the family has different responsibilities and duties. What is required to make these things? A great amount of skill and many days of hard labour are required to make any kind of traditional handicraft. What do they do after they make these things? They sell their handicraft to the wholesaler in the big market. They get very little money from the wholesaler even though the wholesaler makes huge profits. Why are skilled crafts men moving to cities in search of work as labourers. Skilled craftsmen are moving to cities in search of work 
because they do not get enough money for their handicrafts and sarees. Name some places that are world famous for silk sari. Benares, Kanchipuram. Have you seen anything getting dyed other than thread? Do you know of anything that is dyed? Is any special craft done in your village? Have you seen anyone making any handicraft? Do you know how it is done? Bye friends!